welcome back to Hardcore Iron Man Road to Completion. This is week 38, and this week the main goal was to finish off Livid Farm in its entirety so I could just check that off the list of requirements in the comp cape and just be done with it. I, yeah. <laughs> so starting off the week I got uh, 93 fletching because I do my broad arrows here. Uh, it's, it's good to do between rotations and stuff, so yeah, unlock the spell, Remote Farm, which is actually a pretty useful spell. I've been using it uh, later this week, but... Um, yeah, it's one of the very few useful spells on the uh, list to unlock. Then I got this grab crab hat off of the like the ten mystery boxes I got, which is a, apparently it's like a one in one hundred uh, chance to get that crab hat. So that was pretty lucky, especially for an heart for an uh, for a um, Iron Man account because they can't just you know buy spins or anything. Got ninety nine hunter, boom, that skill done. I was planning on doing this last week, or getting 99 Hunter last week, but I didn't have the uh, quota tickets or the time, I guess, um, daily reset and whatever. But um, yeah, 99 Hunter, awesome. Another 99 in the bag, and uh, moving on back to Livid Farm to unlock another spell, Spiritualized Food, which of course is kind of useless. <laughs> Pretty sure like nobody uses Spiritualized Food in any situation ever, unless it's some kind of niche weird situation but also got 93 farming this is pretty nice far farming xp um you get a lot of it by the time you're done with all the spells so yeah it's pretty nice today was pretty much exclusively spent at livid farm so as you can imagine i was uh my mental state was not in the best um situation but unlocked the make leather spell which is not that useful at all and then disruption shield uh, which is yeah not useful at all to me I guess because I don't do any PvP like whatsoever and nobody uses it anyway but anyway uh, the f you're about to hear something that is either a product of insanity or trying to stay sane so I'm just gonna play this um, <laughs> song I'll call it I guess like I don't, I don't even know what to call it Make of that as you as you will, but um, yeah, got stuff from Meg, huge XP lamp in, was that cooking? Yeah, it's not bad, cooking is not the easiest skill for me, but um, unlocked Vengeance Group, which is more of a vanity spell, it really, like, is no real practical way to use it, like, I don't even, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, got 94, yeah, 94 farming? from uh, doing some of these tree runs I'm doing like pretty much every day from the seeds I got from Ganodermix, which is really helping out and getting my far farming way up there, along with the livid farm is just, yeah, skyrocketing. Got 93 fletching from turning in a, uh, I think it was a magic shield bow daily challenge, which got me tons of XP and I think I extended it too, so that was awesome. Got another spell livid farm, teleport to Trollheim, which is actually a really useful spell. Uh, basically lets me have another herb patch that is disease free. I can just teleport right there and I don't have to run like through Trollheim or something. The next spell is like teleport group to Trollheim, which isn't that useful at all for me, I guess. But um, yeah, this is it. This clip is the end of Livid Farm and I'm just insulting Pauline because I just, I, I hate her so much right now. But um, yeah, that, so just to give you a little the statistics on Livid Farm in general to complete it, you need to take at least 40 hours, you know, it's like over 40 hours minimum, and then you need to use over 52,000 astral runes and 23,000 nature runes total to to unlock all these spells. And I, I had to runecraft all those runes, and I had to spend those 45 hours or so here <laughs> at Levit Farm to unlock all these spells. It was not fun. It, and yeah, it's a really repetitive thing you gotta do, and it's over. It is over! I'm done with Livid Farm! Get me out of here, just surge right past Pauline, and just get out of here. Now that Livid Farm is over, I can head back to uh, skilling out these 99s. So, did some my troll invasion, put in Herblore still. Pretty sure it's still the best thing I should put let all my XP stuff in. Uh, for now until I get that to 99, but uh, did my monthlies, you know, just the god statues basically and getting that construction up. I'm thinking about, yeah, I need to get my construction to 99. That's probably one of my uh, next few goals. So I put my um, kingdom into mahogany instead of teak because I believe I did the math that ma mahogany does 
give you a bit more XP per day in terms of getting those logs. And I also wanted to check my kingdom for my uh, some raw food to help out with cooking and the t the uh, key halves. I was hoping to get a tooth half, but I didn't. And uh, yeah, it's pretty wimpy. Speaking of wimpy, that was a terrible uh, Tears of Guthics, but yeah, it's like so close to getting that rune crafting level. Just somehow my lowest skill. I should really get to rune span and get that to 99 just in one of these weeks. But I uh, went back to Teaks, getting some logs for construction and my wood cutting up. Got 92 at rune crafting, just rune crafting some fire runes because I needed some, even though I probably should just buy them out of, um, buy them off of the uh, baby Yaga or whatever her face is at uh, Lunar Isle. Use some of these crystal keys I'm getting off of Ganodermix because I really want that stupid Elder Seed so I can get the Taskmaster emote and just have that um, tick ticked off the completion escape list, but um, didn't get Elder Seed today, but oh well, went back to Ganodermix for uh, more kills and it got 30, 30 million constitution uh, XP uh, milestone, I guess it's cool. And uh, wait, was that mage or constitution? I don't even. But yeah, getting a lot of XP off of Ganodermix and a lot and a lot of, of um, tree seeds and stuff that's really going to help out for farming. I used a crystal tr triskelion key that I got off of Ganodermix and then used up another couple of crystal keys. Didn't get yeah, the elder seed, of course. I'm wondering if the voice of Saren in the Iorworth district is going to help the Elder Seed chance or not, but whatever. You can see some of this, some of these seed loots I'm getting and all these Ganodermic flakes, which is going to transfer into a lot of cash when I make them into vi visors. And even those raw lobsters are really useful for cooking. So yeah, here's all the Ganodermic visors. I'm on the wrong uh, spellbook, but uh, all these alked in, and now I have over 24 mil, which is going to be like really nice for getting construction, turning all my logs into planks, which costs a lot of money. 93 construction, started using some of these uh, logs I'm getting from chopping teaks all day. But uh, yeah, it's 93 and 94 in this clip as well. This is super fast skill because you can see just a bit of a, I, I made this as kind of an example clip, but um, just how fast this XP is. If you do your like perfect clicks, it's, it's pretty crazy. But yeah, 94 construction, and I'm hoping to get this to 99 um, soon-ish along with woodcutting. <laughs> is uh, my plan at the moment. So yeah, back to Teaks, and I'm just gonna hang out here until I have a lot of planks for construction. All right, decided to cook up a bunch of this fish I just had stockpiled from Miscellanea and the raw lobsters from Ganodermix. So yeah, just spend like all day cooking and these stupid drakes, if you have a drake out, you don't put it over someone else's fire. Why are there drakes in the first place? So, <sighs> okay, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool, it's okay. My dog started barking, barking but the, okay, so anyway, and I also completed my crew, so now I have uh, the best of all three uh, trait crew or whatever from the Azure region, and that's really nice because that means like, yeah, maxed out crew, whatever, but yeah, and just here's all my port stats, and I, I need six million distance for something, like to unlock a, the wand or whatever, or the ingredient to it. But anyway, got 96 cooking from cooking these raw lobsters from Ganodermix. So that's another cooking level down. Just three more, which I'll probably get off of miscellanea and raw, raw lobsters probably. Got 95 divination, basically all from Guthixian caches, which is ridiculous, really. This, this is such an awesome minigame to do. And now I can do divination at the best spot if I ever want to grind out divination. But uh, 95 wood cutting is cool, and the effigy and whatnot. And this XP is really slow, but it's getting all, me all these logs for construction. And then, yeah, I did a construction daily challenge, which is awesome. <laughs> you still need the um, inventory space to get the reward, even though you're going to take it away from me and give me the inventory space, but whatever. So yeah, I got a lot of mahogany planks back and a lot of XP, so that's really nice. Got the first piece of my Tetsu plate leg scroll, so that's... Uh, Nice, I really should go for the cape scroll and then the ring scroll because I can actually make those pretty soon here. But I uh, got 95 farming, which is great. I can now plant my grapevine seeds without having a uh, boost for them, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, 95 farming, getting that skill up real fast from doing Ganodermix. And then I did an agility daily challenge, which got me the uh, strange rocks and the golden rocks I needed, I, well, needed, I guess, for the statues. And um, yeah, d daily challenge for agility isn't too bad, I guess. It was the Gnome Advanced Courts course, which I haven't unlocked the um, the Agile legs from yet, which would be nice to unlock. But 93 agility, uh, quickly finished off at the Heffen 
course. That was really close after the uh, placing the strange rocks, but yeah, finished that off. Then it was back to teaks, of course, to continue grinding out woodcutting. And uh, what I do is I s go to teaks with a fresh bunch of eight woodcutting urns, and um, as soon as I fill all of them, I head back to Priffy and um, do a herb run, and then. Um, I also use remote farm to check on how my uh, trees are doing, so I don't, so I uh, limit the deaths for those. And then I, after I do everything like that, I head back to Teaks and then just fill up my urns again. Well, look who decided to show up while I was cutting Teaks. It's a uh, evil elder tree. He's pretty awesome. Really nice wood kind of XP off of this guy, and he came just in time to get me the 96 wood cutting. Which is uh, pretty awesome. It's as high as I get this week because the skill is just so slow. I can't get a level per day like I can with a lot of other skills. So, um, yeah, especially, especially here at Teaks. But, yeah, finishing the Elder Tree gives me a lot of cool rewards like some logs and some seeds and the ability to bank um, logs as I cut them, which this guy doesn't say he, it works on Teaks, but they updated it so it does work for Teak logs, which is awesome. So that means I don't have to bank Teaks, teaks for like 30 minutes, which really boosts XP there. Because, yeah, t banking is quite time-consuming there. Then I did some herb lore here. Got me some of these um, super antifiers I wanted to make for myself. Just get some herb lore XP. And then I decided to go get the um, elven tasks done that I haven't done yet. But are like I don't really like <laughs> thinking of doing them. Because I st I'll still have that one task of the elder tree seed to do. But uh, whatever, did them. So now the only tasks I have left in any task set is the Elder Tree Seed one that I need the Elder Tree Seed for. But um, yeah, I got 97 Herb Lore. I'm just making some overload potion ingredients kind of things. Just, I don't know, doing random Herb Lore. Just got the level so that my Jack of Trace does more in Herb Lore, I guess. Got 94 Fletching as well, just to get these last levels of the week out of the way. Like when I'm close to levels, I like to get them like out of the way before the week ends, just to have those last few things and boost my total for the outro. So yeah, 25, 25 total out for the, for the uh, outro. It's a pretty cool total, just a 25, 25. So yeah, I am now can, um, turning all my logs into teak planks, which I'll use to probably get to Maybe 96 to 97 construction off of the teak planks I have so far, but next week my goal is to get 99 wood cutting and construction. So hopefully I can get that, but I can definitely get at least really close to both. So anyway, thanks for watching, and see you next time.